As the coronavirus spreads across the globe, people are standing six feet apart, washing their hands, and avoiding touching their faces. Or at least they're trying to. Ignoring an itchy nose or hair in your eyes is easier said than done. Even professionals who should know better get caught by the impulse. Medical students being trained in infectious disease prevention, for example, touch their faces 23 times an hour during a lecture. That's according to a 2015 study in the American Journal of Infection Control. So why is it so difficult to stop touching your face? People are taught to touch their faces often, whether it's applying makeup, brushing or flossing their teeth, or putting up their hair. These routines carry over to less intentional methods of touching your face, such as rubbing your eyes in a germ-filled grocery store. This tendency isn't about repetition, but also vanity. Touching their face allows people to regulate their presentation and also shows others that they are self-aware. Luckily, touching your face is not the main way people get infected by the novel coronavirus. Still, the CDC recommends not touching your nose, mouth, or eyes because the virus can spread this way. And if you touch a contaminated surface, remember to clean your hands with soap and water or use hand sanitizer. What's interesting is that when people are concerned about touching their faces, they may do it more frequently, like how telling someone not to think of a pink elephant immediately conjures up a pink elephant in their mind. To break the habit, start by being more aware of when you touch your face, but don't punish yourself when you reach up with your hand. Pair reminders such as phone alarms with practical actions, such as putting your hair in a ponytail so it's out of your face and not a temptation for you to touch.